Hi, my name is Andrew Polk. We're going to talk a little bit about how to find the voice of your character, in my case, Avrum, in the band's visit. The band's visit is about an Egyptian military band that plays a concert in Israel, and they go to the wrong town, and they get taken in by the local Israelis for the night. I play Avrum who is one of the local residents and someone who's trying to help a lot of people around him feel better. The first step for me when I'm doing an accent, in, in, the, in this case, is research. Of course, online, I found some real great models, including Yair Lapid, who is in the government of Israel. One of the things about accents that I like is that you can do all the research first, but then you really got to find a physicality that sort of launches you in. And Yair Lapid had a kind of, it was almost like a bull. He was kind of like this, and everything was very kind of confrontational. Tell the truth about what is it that they're really trying to do. What is it that they're really trying to do is to force Israel to do things Israel doesn't want to do. Kind of a real aggressive, solid physicality. And I'm like, that's great, I could use that, and I, and I do. Love sparks on the off beat, igniting with a minor nine. Resolving to a major six, then something clicks and everything starts. Before I start working with a dialect coach, I try to find key sounds uh, that I can hang my hat on. There's this one thing they do, and I don't think they do it anywhere else, where they go M a lot in the middle of any sentence. So if you're saying, uh, I, I want to um, go to um, the store. So that was a key sound. I can really hang my hat on that. And the R sound, which is sounds to the untrained ear like a French R, like a R. Uh. In fact, Meryl Streep came backstage. She saw the show, name dropping, but she did. And I said, hey, you need to do an Israeli accent. She said, it's so hard. It sounds French. And I said, it does, but it's not. And the R sound deceives you because it sounds like an R sound, but it's not. It's like an R sound mixed with a W sound. So it's like a R. I go... Uh, to uh, walk to the uh, railroad. And then when you say, I'm going in here, I'm going in there, you say in. It's an E sound, not an E sound. In here, I am talking to you about um, the um, Israeli accent, okay? Um, that's it. You get off your seat and move your feet and that's to the beat of your heart. Luckily, my wife, uh, Zohar, is not only a brilliant playwright, but was the dialect coach for the show. So I live with the dialect coach and I got a lot of notes. I really feel like the biggest payoff I've ever gotten is when I walk out of the stage door and an Israeli has come up to me and they say something in Hebrew and I don't speak Hebrew and I say, I'm an American, I'm from California. A lot of them feel like they can sniff out the ones that are really Israeli and not Israeli and then I fooled them and that's very satisfying. Do tons of research. Find the physicality that will key you into that accent. Find two or three key sounds that will just launch you into that accent. And when all else fails, marry the dialect coach. That's part of the actor's craft.